Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Lord Eva Reese Hards, once again. You're watching IZ Corp Exchange Television. Uh, this comes from a business on the exchange in good standings. It's called the Buy Shops and Associates. And what we do is we help invest in advisors and people who are really into finance build their teams and hire the right personnel. Not hire it for them, but I like give them ideas on how they should structure their business according to their financial mantra or whatever it is they do. So, you know, we find out what, what, what drives their business. You know, whether you're making a million dollars or maybe you're making a hundred dollars, what's driving your business? You know, we let them know, you know, the industry's always ready for change. And even if you're, even if you're flying solo, and you think you the man, man, you know, it's all about teams, you know what I mean? You, you, you don't do it by yourself. So the first question that was posed to me was, um, what's the difference between coaching and consulting? When you, when you look at like an IZ Corp exchange, you know, you're more like consulting. You know, you bring people in, they, they observe what you're doing, and they research you from there. And it makes, it makes the quality of their business and their life better. So, but when, when, when they get in, you know what I'm saying, if this is the path that they want to take or if they want to bite off the exchange or bite what, what I'm doing or anybody's doing, you know, you have to, you have to learn it. You just can't look at it and say, oh, I do that. If you don't know anything about it, you know what I'm saying? Even if you have an idea about it, you just can't say, oh, I like to fix cars. I'm turned on by f mechanics. But if you don't know anything about it, then you have to be taught. So then you have to be coached. So now they want to know what's the difference between coaching and consulting. And remember, it's it's all about teams, you know. Um, you want a lot of privacy. You know what I'm saying? When you're doing your work, you want to have, especially in the beginning, you want to have privacy. You want to be in control of your information and how your information is distributed to the general public. Because that, 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 that messes with you mentally. You see what I'm saying? People, you think people get your secrets. People know what you're doing. It can drive you mad. You see what I'm saying? So you want to you wanna have a strong, a strong sense of privacy. You know, like, especially on the cyber security side. So if you, point blank, you know, you need to have, if you're using systems, you don't want people to be able to just break into your systems and see what you're doing or have people running around blabbering their mouth and stuff like that. So you have a, you have you, you want to do like every now and then you do privacy surveys within your organization. And you know, you, you need to explain to your people about confidentiality. Uh, you have to understand the systems. You know what I'm saying? You just can't say, "Oh, yeah, we'll 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 use this one, this system right here." You have to understand how it works and know what you're buying and know what you're paying for. Um, when you're managing your vendors, you have to be very careful or very mindful who you do business with. So your vendors, your finance people, the people you transfer money to, the people that you use for anything, anything that's outside of your business that you pay and buy for, they come and do probably those are, those are vendors. So you want to be, have a special relationship and a special understanding with your vendors and you have to be able to manage them because see a vendor will come in and take over your business start telling you what to do and stuff like that you see what I'm saying that includes your brokers your your lawyers your attorneys anything that you pay for outside to do business with is a vendor then you have to train your employees right you know what I'm saying you have to make them comfortable to want to come and work that's a given you explain that to you um, now, this is very, very important. And, uh, you know, our time's running low. Again, this is Lord Ebo Risi Hodge. You're watching IZ Corp Exchange Television. And this is Buy Shop and Associates. And we really study, like, the legal, the compliance, and the team building and, you know, managing your business. You want to engage, you know, engage in information sharing. So when you're sharing information with people, you know, you you look and you say, well, this information is privy. You see what I'm saying? So you don't want people in your organization giving out information on their own, especially, period. You see what I'm saying? You don't want them talking about other what, what your plans are, 
what this guy or the people are doing, what their job is. Oh, I didn't know you had such and such on your team selling insurance too. You know, you you when you're sharing information with other organizations, you want to be you want to make it like everything that you have in your in your organization is privy. You know, we don't just blab our mouth. We just we just handle business. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's good to have insurance. Uh, you have to have response plans, you know, in case something does go down. You know, you got PR people, you know what I'm saying? Somebody might walk and start bad-mouthing you, you know what I'm saying? So you have to have a response plan to deal with that. You have to have mechanisms in place to say, hey, 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 hey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it didn't go down like that, you know what I'm saying? Or this isn't what happened, you know what I'm saying? Um... You know, you have to execute properly and efficiency, efficiently. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you just can't just say a uh, customer comes in and they're like, okay, I need a, I need a plan for this. Or I want, I want to, I got five people here and I need, need, I need, need a, a financial need analysis is for them. You know, you just can't just, okay, just to get it done, just do, 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 do. You know what I'm saying? You want to have, you want to put like, the best not it's okay when you when you're doing when buy shops and associate teaches people because remember it's consulting versus coaching so it's not like okay i put my best foot forward you know what i mean i'm not just putting my best foot forward i'm putting my best everything forward you put your best foot forward to get in the door so you want you want these people to get in bed with you so you say okay i put my best foot when they get in bed with you now now it gets even more exciting because now they're going to ask you and they're going to be trying to pay you to do things and you just can't just say I got it done you want you want the best service for these for your for your for your people you know what I'm saying you need the best so you have to really really work on that so you can um you know execute efficiently so so they can keep doing business with you and even if it's a one time thing you know Every time somebody does business with you, you have to consider that a track record. You know, you have to have a continuity, a continuing plan. So, okay, this person comes in, they paid us $50,000, we took care of this right here. They don't not, they're not going to do more business with you. That's all they wanted. They're not going to go tell everybody, oh, go over to buy shops or go over to, to IZ Corp. Because they'll be like, ah, you know, I have the higher ground. I have, I have somebody that can do this stuff for me. They might not just promote you. You see what I'm saying? So you have to have a continuity plan. Like, um, uh, you know, maybe you can do an interview with them or something, and then that way they can say, you know, you can, or or um, what do you call it again? You know, like you do an interview with them, and then they say, oh, look, you know, we did business with 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 uh with geezer incorporated and they're happy with our service and this is what we did for them and then they can come in and say yeah um i'm geezer incorporated and we did business with with buy shops and associates i remember with iz corp and yeah they know what they're talking about they're very good people you know they're very friendly and they don't have to tell you in detail but that would be part of your continuity plan to make people understand that hey we're here and we're here to serve this um, this community, and we're good at what we do. So these are not formulas for success. You know, you don't want to be. I would I would say zooming in, zooming out, but you want to be able to sit back and say, hey, this is this is what's happening. You know what I mean? Um, we we're not the best people in the world. You don't want you don't want to brag and everything, but you want to be able to say, hey, we can get this done. When you come to us, this is not a game. This is not a joke. We make it happen. Buy Shops and Associates is a member of IZ Corp Exchange in good standings. You're watching IZ Corp Exchange Television. I'm Lordy Borisi Hards. Have a very blessed day.